Hello and welcome to Sassy Scrapbooking. In today's video I'm going to show you how I made this super easy, super fun snowman Christmas card. So let's go ahead and get started. I've chosen to use the snowman card which is number MB37DD from Anna's Christmas Kitsch cartridge or if you have the subscription you can find it either by keying in the um, M num M B three seven D D or you can key in Snowman card or you can go to your cartridges and just key in Anna's Christmas Kitsch. Either way, it all works. I've gone ahead and set the width at nineteen point three five and the height at seven point three three. And when I hit undo, I can see that the card is going to be eight and a half inches in width. This will allow me to use a standard piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock. Before clicking on the Go button to, d to send my images to be cut on the Cricut, I'm going to click on the Sync icon and I'm going to look at the different colors I'm going to need for each mat. Uh, what I do notice is the red for the envelope and the red on the snowman are two different shades of red. So I'm going to combine the two by clicking on the column with the red for the snowman and just dragging it up to the area that has the red for the envelope. Combining the two red colors leaves me with four different colors on four mats instead of five. Much better. Alright, so let's go ahead and click on the Go icon to send all our images to the map preview screen. I always like to double check the map preview screen to make sure that my images are all there and it also tells me which mats I'm going to need to make sure that my score tool is in the Cricut Explorer. Everything looks good here so let's go ahead and click on the go button and send the images to the Cricut Explorer to be cut. With all the images now cut I'm going to go ahead and build the envelope first. I'm going to go ahead and fold on all the score lines to complete the envelope, I'm going to use some liquid glue on the side flaps to adhere the bottom flap of the envelope. And my envelope is done. Now let's go ahead and assemble the card. First thing I'm going to do is using my bone folder, I'm going to run it along the crease mark in the center of the card. Then taking the black outline cutout, I'm going to adhere it to the top face of the card. Then using some more liquid glue, I'm going to adhere the white glitter cardstock on top of the black cardstock. Okay, now I'm done with the base of the snowman. So I'm going to start adding all his other little pieces and features. So I'm going to take the t black top hat and using some more liquid glue, I'm going to adhere that to his head. I do want to mention that I am using liquid glue for this project mainly because the white piece of cardstock that I'm using already ha it's a glitter cardstock and it seems like the other pieces of cardstock adhere better using a liquid glue as opposed to a tape runner. Um, so I'm using my Scotch quick dry adhesive liquid glue on this project. Now all that's left to do is to add his mittens and his scarf and the little earmuff puffs. I don't know what you call those, but they're like the puffs on the earmuffs. Now to complete my snowman card, I'm going to use some glossy accent on his eyes, the black portion of his eyes, and on his nose, and on his buttons. And my card is complete. At this time, I would like to take one more moment of your time and thank you for watching my video at Sassy Scrapbooking. Please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos. I will continue to add new videos as my adventures with the Cricut Explorer continue. Bye for now.